Understanding the historical phrase, hear ye, hear ye. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating part of the English language. We're going to explore the meaning and history behind the phrase, hear ye, hear ye. Whether you're an English language learner or just a lover of words, this journey into the past will shed light on how English has evolved over the centuries. So, let's get started. Hear ye, hear ye, is a phrase that originates from medieval England. It was commonly used by town criers to grab the attention of the public. The word, hear, in this context means, listen, or, pay attention. The repetition of, ye, an old form of, you, emphasizes the importance of the message that was to follow. This phrase was essentially a way to announce news, proclamations, or other important information to the townspeople. In this section, we delve into the role of the town crier in medieval society. Town criers were essential, especially when most people couldn't read or write. Their role was to convey messages from the king or local lords to the townsfolk. The town crier would ring a bell and shout, hear ye, hear ye, before reading out the announcement. These announcements could be anything from legal declarations to local news or royal decrees. Fast forward to the present, and, hear ye, hear ye, is mostly used in a ceremonial or theatrical context. It's not commonly used in everyday conversation but can be found in historical movies, plays, or renaissance fairs. This section will explore how the phrase transitioned from a practical use in medieval times to a more nostalgic or artistic use in the modern era. Here, we'll examine the linguistic shift from hear ye to modern equivalents. We'll discuss how language evolves and how phrases like this become archaic. We will also look at current phrases that perform the same function in today's English, such as attention, please, or may I have your attention. And that wraps up our journey through time with the phrase, hear ye, hear ye. I hope this video has not only enlightened you about this historical phrase but also shown you the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of the English language. Remember, language is not just a tool for communication, it's a bridge to our past. Thanks for watching, and keep exploring the fascinating world of English.